Okay, so now that we sort of finished the, the introducing the basics of probability theory, recalling the basics of probability theory, you're going to need the basics of, of linear algebra. And so this chapter, in a way, is about understanding linear emission reduction and how to deal with matrix data. And so you know, this is about dimension reduction. In particular, about linear dimension reduction. Right? And the idea is that when we have, you know, x1 to xn, you know, they are data points, say data points in RP, data points. It's going to be very, very useful to consider, you know, a matrix, say a matrix X, of these data points, x1, and so on. Xn. Right? And the point is that properties of this matrix are going to tell us a lot about properties of the data. Okay, and so to do this, we need to, to recall the, the basics of, of SVD. So see, this, this is sort of a part zero of, uh, of this chapter. So basics, you know, basics of, of SVD. And so instead of, you know, me recording, uh, you know, blazing fast five, 10 minutes, uh, you know, uh, basics of SVD video, which risks having the issue that if you already knew it, you're kind of bored, and if you didn't know it, it's too fast for you to understand. I'm instead linking a place where I do this without, without assuming that, that you've seen it before and proving a lot of the properties in an undergraduate class that I teach. So I'll put the videos in the, in the description here of the video, the links, but uh, you can see it's these two videos from, from an undergraduate class I teach, which is exactly, I mean, it's very much in the same language. And then another thing that, that we do in this chapter is we derive principal component analysis. Right. You know, this is something uh, quite simple. And, and, and again, th this is done exactly in, in the undergraduate course. Right. I assume also that you've seen principal component analysis before, and this is the, this is the, the link for that, for that video. Now, the big bulk of this, of this uh, chapter is now after deriving principal component analysis, understanding how does principal component analysis behave in, how them, in high dimensions, right? How does PCA behave in high dimensions, right? And so we are going to think about, you know, we're going to take points in very high dimensions. In particular, we're going to take, you know, random points in high dimensions. And we're going to ask ourselves, what would PCA do in these random points, right? And now, because the points are random, you know, the resulting matrix is random. And PCA is something about eigenvalues and eigenvectors, so it's all going to be about understanding eigenvalues and eigenvectors of matrices with random entries. So this is exactly the, the, the object of study of random matrix theory. Right. And so a lot of this chapter is about random matrix theory, and that's what we'll do in the next video. Okay, so this will be you know, the next the next video after you know after you've watched the other the other ones of background, or you know if you've seen this already, just take a look through the notes and make sure that uh, you know you, you you remember everything. And then the next the next video we do what's really you know the the, the main part of this uh, this chapter, which is to to start studying random matrix theory and understanding what PCA does in high dimensions.